The Pyramid of La Mana is a pyramid-shaped object about 25 centimeters high, found in 1984 in La Mana, Ecuador. This pyramid has incredible features. First of all, it is almost identical to the pyramid on the US dollar bill, the one with 13 steps at the base and an eye at the top. The pyramid also fluoresces when illuminated by ultraviolet light, same thing for the eye at the top. The pyramid of La Mana has an engraving at the base which represents the constellation of Orion. In Egypt, Orion was associated with the god Osiris, who represented rebirth and life after death. The constellation was known as Shah, meaning he who is shining, and was said to represent the deified pharaoh. In India we know the Kundalini, dormant energy located at the base of the spine, represented as a snake that climbs the spine once awakened through spiritual practices. I remind you that the spine has 33 vertebrae and in theory according to Indian tradition seven chakras, awakened the Kundalini, this would go up the spine and reach the pineal gland, awakening the spiritual practitioner and obtaining a state of enlightenment. The fluorescent pyramid with the eye at the top, which by the way is symbolized in the US dollar and which is often associated with the Illuminati, is clearly no coincidence. The one-eyed pyramid can clearly represent a state of enlightenment in man. The biblical serpent, although Christians associate it with the symbol of the evil, brought knowledge through the instruction he provided to Eve. The serpent has always been associated with regeneration, immortality and wisdom. Enki, also known as Ea in Babylonian mythology, was the god of water and wisdom. Enki was often represented with a trident including entwined serpent. Indian god Vishnu is the god of preservation, and is often associated with rebirth and the cycle of life, death and rebirth. Vishnu is often depicted with a snake around his neck, called Shesha or Ananta, which symbolizes eternity and rebirth. Even Jesus associates the symbol of the serpent with wisdom, in fact in the Gospel of Matthew we have this affirmation of Jesus, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The Pyramid of La Mana is not the only incredible object found in Lama, many other incredible artifacts have been found in the same place such as, for example, another fluorescent stone represented a king cobra. The cobra is not present in South America, Yet we have its representation in these finds and beyond. This cobra has 33 horizontal stripes running up its body, just like the 33 vertebrae of the spine that would raise Kundalini, and seven lateral stripes, like the number of chakras involved in the Kundalini rise, this energy represented as a snake. By now we associate the pyramid with one eye with symbols that we consider negative in modern times such as the Illuminati, or the snake a symbol of wisdom that has always been in different cultures, but which today we consider a symbol of evil. Gnosticism, a Christian current belief that man had a spirit present within him, and belief that the material world was built by a demiurge and his archons, who tried to hide man's spiritual nature. Were we diverted or what? Why do we transform symbols formerly associated with wisdom, immortality, enlightenment, into something evil? Also I mean this last thing. It's not that if something evil uses some positive symbol, then that turns into something evil too. To explain myself better, if, for example, a man who is repeated evil by everyone starts wearing wool caps every day, it does not mean that the wool cap has become an evil symbol. Thanks for watching.